In this video, you'll see how to notify customers of incoming deliveries using Amazon Location Service. With this fully managed service, you can create a geofence on a map, track whether delivery drivers have entered the geofence, and send automatic notifications in the event of entry. To get started, let's navigate to Amazon Location Service and take a look at our geofence collection. A geofence is a virtual boundary on a map. As you can see, we already have a geofence collection that was created by Amazon Location Service, but for our purposes, we'll create a new one. We'll use this geofence collection to store and manage geofences used for deliveries. Let's not create an event bridge rule for this collection. We'll make one later, but for now, let's just create the geofence collection resource. Now that we have a geofence collection, let's add a geofence to it. Let's download the example GeoJSON file. This file provides an example of the formatting used to define a geofence. If you wish, you can modify it to suit your needs, inserting coordinates for the specific geographical area you want to monitor. For the purposes of this example, this file is ready to use. Let's add it to the collection. Our collection now contains a geofence around North Vancouver. To determine when the geofence has been entered, we can create a tracker. A tracker is a resource that receives location updates from devices that send geolocation positions, such as mobile phones or GPS devices. Now let's link the tracker to the geofence collection we created so that all location updates received by the tracker are automatically evaluated against the geofences in the collection. Next, we'll use an Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS, to notify users anytime the tracker receives an update indicating the geofence has been entered. Let's create a new SNS topic. We'll retain the default settings and create the topic. Next, let's create a subscription for the topic in order to designate a target for our notification. We'll select email as the protocol and specify an email address to receive the notification. Let's create the subscription. We can confirm the subscription by sending a confirmation URL to the email address we entered. We can enter the confirmation URL here and click it in the email. The subscription has been confirmed. Next, let's edit it to include a filter policy. By default, the SNS Topic subscriber receives every message published to the topic. The policy will filter which notifications the subscriber receives. We now have an SNS Topic, a subscription, and a filter policy. The next step in the process is to create a Lambda function in AWS Lambda. We'll select Python 3.8 for the runtime, specify a name, and create the function. This function will leverage the SNS topic we created earlier to notify customers of incoming deliveries. Let's edit the function's code. We'll replace this text with our own code. Now let's deploy the changes. Next, let's edit the configuration to give this function permission to invoke the SNS topic. Let's click into the execution role and add an inline policy. We'll add JSON code to grant the needed permission. Let's review the policy. We'll give the policy a name and create it. Now that the Lambda function has the appropriate permissions, we'll create an event bridge rule that will perform actions in response to an entry event from our geofence. Amazon Event Bridge is a serverless event bus that efficiently connects applications together using data from AWS services such as Amazon Location Service. Let's create a rule that will act on a geofence enter event. We'll build an event pattern for this rule. This pattern will be predefined by the service. The service provider is AWS. The service name is Amazon Location Service. 
and the event type is Location Geofence Event. This will specifically be for Enter Events. We'll select the Lambda function we created earlier as a target and create the rule. Now let's create another Lambda function that will publish a delivery driver's location to the Amazon Location Tracker we created earlier. As before, we'll name the function and use Python 3.8 for the runtime. Let's find the function we just created and drill into it. Let's take a look at the code for this function. Notice that we're specifying the name of the tracker we created. The function receives an event containing the latitude, longitude, and ID of the device sending the information. It then sends this information to the tracker in batch updates. For the purposes of this example, we also have code here that changes and updates the latitude and longitude every two seconds in order to simulate a device moving across the location. Next, let's add a policy granting this function permission to send updates to the tracker. Let's name and create the policy. Now let's test the Lambda function we just created. We'll go back to the code and configure a test event. Let's specify some different geographical positions and create the test event. Now let's test the function. The Lambda function has been executed. From the Monitor tab, we can view the logs in CloudWatch. Let's locate the delivery notifier among the log groups. Notice that a new log stream was just created. Let's take a look. We can see that our notifier was triggered because our geofence was entered. You've just seen how to notify customers of incoming deliveries using Amazon Location Service. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.